Blake and Jonah are a couple of blue-collar construction workers, just trying to keep on keeping on. Then one day they show up to a job site to discover that someone's been possessed by the Necronomicon. Talk about a case of the Mondays. Visual Vengeance may be the new kid on the boutique Blu-ray distribution block, but they've come out the gate swinging with one SOV haymaker after another. One of the more obscure and ambitious SOV titles that they've released to date is Slaughter Day. Slaughter Day was the brainchild of brothers Blake and Brent Cousins. Inspired by Sam Raimi's Evil Dead, the two set out to create their own DIY horror film, chock full of gory special effects and some absolutely insane, and most likely highly illegal, action sequences. And you have to give the brothers credit. What they're able to do here with what was clearly a micro-budget is impressive. All of the gore effects are executed well. We get beheadings, disembowelings, dismemberments, limbs torn from bodies, and then used to batter the former owner of said limb. But the cherry atop this gore-soaked Sunday occurs when a character is reading from the Necronomicon. It's not the same Necronomicon from the Evil Dead series, but a book of artwork by H.R. Giger. Anyway, an arm bursts through the pages of the Necronomicon, grabbing the reader and then forcefully pulls them down into the book, folding them in half along the way. Slaughter Day also features some crazy action sequences, one of which involves two characters slugging it out in the bed of a pickup truck. A moving pickup truck. Granted, the truck isn't moving very fast, but it's still moving, and it looks pretty dangerous. Another sequence involves two characters who are fighting in what appears to be an old warehouse or something. They're duking it out on this rusty, rickety old platform, which is just high enough off the ground to cause serious bodily harm if either were to fall. The action sequences and gory bits are occasionally clumsy, but these guys were definitely not professional fight choreographers or K&B effects. The fact that no one died or sustained life-impairing injuries during the filming is something. However, when they do pull off a cool practical effect, the guy being folded in half and forced into the Necronomicon, for instance, it's pretty darn impressive. I also really dug the kinetic raimi style the cousins emulated. They built their own rig that they could fix the camera to, which allowed them to achieve some nice shots and cool camera moves. At one point, the plot, or what little plot there was to begin with, goes out the window, and Slaughter Day gets gonzo, hopping from one aimless gore scene or action scene to another. This makes Slaughter Day feel significantly longer than its 58-minute runtime. Slaughter Day is rough around the edges, to say the least. The acting, the editing, the sound, the music are all... rough. But you have to give the Cousin Brothers an A for ambition here. When Slaughter Day works, it's highly impressive and entertaining. When it doesn't, it's pretty tedious. Slaughter Day isn't going to be for everyone. But if you're a fan of obscure SOV oddities from filmmakers who overcame limited resources with limitless passion, then Slaughter Day is a keeper. I say check it out. This new Blu-ray release from Visual Vengeance is sourced from SD Master Tapes. It's rough, particularly in the beginning. Think of an old VHS tape that's been watched and rewound a few dozen times. However, the quality does even out. This is probably the best an SOV movie shot in 1991 and sourced from master tapes that were likely stored in somebody's basement for the past 30 years can look or sound on Blu-ray today. Overall, I'd give the picture quality and the sound quality on this release a 2.5 out of 5. Another odd thing about this release is how often you can hear the director say, now or go, from off screen, cueing the actors to act. I'm not sure why those instances weren't edited out. They can be a little distracting. This release comes with a cool slipcover. The sleeve is reversible, featuring new artwork on one side and the original VHS artwork on the other. We get some stickers, a mini poster, and a booklet featuring liner notes by Tony Strauss. As far as extras are concerned, first up we have The Cousin Brothers Today. It's 8 minutes and 6 seconds in length. It's interviews with Brent and Blake Cousins. They discuss the Slaughter Day series of shorts they made in high school, being inspired by the Evil Dead, and eventually taking Slaughter Day to the next level. They discuss how they pulled off the practical effects, the camera rig they created, and more. We get 29 seconds of alternate takes. We get Full Metal Platoon, a short film by The Cousin Brothers. We also get Slaughter Day 2, 3, and 4, the short films, we get the Slaughter Day theme song, the original trailer, and trailers for The Rising Dead and Loose Cannon, and we get two audio commentaries, the first with the Cousin Brothers and the second with Matt Desiderio and Rob Housechild 
of Visual Vengeance. This is a very nice release for Slaughter Day from Visual Vengeance. This is the best Slaughter Day as ever and most likely will ever look or sound. We get some nice extras and some really cool accoutrements as well. If you've seen Slaughter Day, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what your favorite shot on video film is. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.